we begin tonight with a story developing out of Geauga County. A two-year-old girl is dead, 10 others injured in a house fire in Middlefield Township. We have team coverage this evening. Don Kendrick is at one of the hospitals where victims were taken. But first, Andrew Horansky is live on the scene. Andrew, what can you tell us? I can tell you, Russ and Sarah, that it has been a very cold evening here in Middlefield Township. The snowflakes are falling, but the details of this story, this very sad story, are even more chilling. Let's show you the scene here just a few hours ago when investigators arrived on the scene. We can tell you that a fire broke out here just after 6 o'clock this evening, and there was a family of 11 people inside this home when they arrived. We understand they ranged in age from 1 to to someone who was in their early 40s. We don't know the exact ages of these victims, but firefighters tell us there were 11 people here, 11 people who had to be taken to three area hospitals. Now, one of the children who lived here, a two-year-old girl, did not survive. Firefighters are telling us tonight they do not know the cause of this, um, but they do know that 11 people, a family of 11, they say an Amish family, lived here, and they tell us tonight that a two-year-old did not make it. Back live, I can tell you that they have cleared the scene. The state fire marshal is investigating. The cause has not been released, not even speculated at this point. But again, many thoughts here tonight for that family of 11, an Amish family that lived in this home along Peters Road here in Amish country, Middlefield Township, and that two-year-old who did not survive on this, the eve of Thanksgiving. Back to you. Okay, Drew, thank you very much. Just going over what Drew said right now, once again, a toddler has died, 10 others injured in the fire. And Don Kendrick is at Geauga County Medical Center where some of the victims were taken. Don, what are you hearing about their condition tonight? Well, Sarah, we heard that the two-year-old actually was pronounced dead on the scene here tonight. You can only imagine what this family is up against tonight. And we're told that the patients that are being seen here and we're seen here are this father and even more of his kids. When we got here, we saw that life flight taking off right there. That was with a 10-year-old child who was transferred to Metro Hospital. He had burns, is what we were told, severe burns. Then there's a 12-year-old with burns that went to Metro Hospital by ambulance. And that was right from the scene. She had an aunt in the ambulance with her, we're told. A 13-year-old admitted with stroke, uh, excuse me, smoke inhalation here. And a 35-year-old father, we're told, admitted for burns here. Again, our hearts go out to them. Can only imagine what they're up against here tonight. I'm Don Kendrick reporting live in Chardon, Channel 3 News. All right, Don, thank you very much. A lot more information, of course, will come out in this story. Be sure to check back on air and our WKYC app for the latest updates.